Hey, screen rumor. This is a uh, line six spider valve. I've got the uh, I've got the head unit pulled out of it, and I just installed uh, two brand new Sovatech five eight eight one WXTs. Also, two China twelve AX sevens. That is the factory. That is what the factory had installed. So all four are new tubes. That's a matched pair of power tubes. You can see one's taller than the other one, but it has a uh, a bias probe connected to it, which I have hooked up to this meter. And I'm going to ready to set the bias on this thing. So I'm letting them burn in. But uh, if you get back here and look, you can see that... Uh, down, it's upside down, but where it says danger high voltage, those two VR3 or V3 and V4, that's the two power tubes. And uh, if you don't have a bias probe, you can those two black resistors right there are where you would probe for um, your millivolts. Um, you can go milliamps or millivolts, but and those two pots right there, the blue pots, are what are going to get adjusted as soon as these tubes burn in. So, uh, that right there is death. If you, if you aren't careful and you get too close to any of these circuits back here, you, you, you are risking quite a, uh, jolt so it's not recommended that just anybody mess around with the tube amp there are uh, death charges in those capacitors it'll stop your heart so I'll uh, get back with you here in a second just just let this thing burn in for several minutes so I have my uh, voltmeter um, set to milliamps not millivolts and uh, that's because I used a bias probe looking for 35 milliamps this is 34.8 and that's without touching it and I, I think it's it's gonna rise up to 35 so I'm not going to mess with it. It's almost at 35 on that tube. That tube looks really perfect, 35. Yeah, so I'm I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave that biased at 35. It looks good. shut her down, let her cool off a little while, and uh, then I can switch the bias probe to the other tube and give it a look, see where that one sits. But we're looking pretty good with this tube at 35. So, got the bias probe on the other tube now and uh, we're at 33.3 so a little low I was going to let it sit for a while and see if it pumps up looks like it's it's slowly climbing so we'll give it another 5-10 minutes at least maybe 10 minutes and then we'll check it see if it's any higher so hope that helped we'll see if it works came to me broken and uh, did not function, did not have a jack for the guitar and the fuse, you can see that glass fuse right there oh, my phone's probably a little out of focus or it's just my eyes but anyway that's a 0 0.5 amp fuse or 500 milliamps that fuse was blown so I had to replace that with a correct fuse 
all the rest of the fuses were good. Here's one right here, five amps. And then on the back are two fuses, one that's pretty obvious, it has a, a rotating uh, fuse cover, and then the other one is a little harder to see. It's really part of the plug and a little bit of a nuisance to get out. But you'll you'll look at the plug, the power plug, and you'll see, oh, there's the fuse right there. So all right guys be careful or have somebody else do it mm -hmm.